person that you're striving to become is stronger than any opposition, any adversity, any challenge that you will ever face. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. You wake up in the morning, thoughts sometimes whisper, it's gonna be a lousy day. I have so many problems. I don't feel like dealing with these children. You can either dwell on that, believe that it's true. You'll go around discouraged. It'll become a reality. You'll have a lousy day. But a better approach is to say, no thanks. I'm not gonna dwell on those discouraging thoughts. They came to my mind, but I know I control the doorway. I don't have to allow them in. You know, I find it amazing in life how when everything is going great, you know, people are great. But the moment they encounter something that they didn't expect, it put them outside of their comfort zone. They face a challenge, a little bit of adversity here and there. Some people never recover and they're never the same. Negativity, you can protect yourself from negativity. And that's what stops most people, negative thoughts. You can coat your mind from negativity. It's a real simple exercise to do. I do it every morning before I walk out the door. So I walk out as a positive person. You know, I get tired sometimes. That's different from being negative because I get mentally drained from my job at times. But to coat your mind from negativity, the way you can put a coating around your mind is with one simple thing, gratitude. Gratitude erases negativity. Get your mind going in the right direction and your life will go in the right direction. You're going to draw in what you're constantly thinking about. If you're thinking can't do it thoughts, I'm not enough, this problem's too big, you're drawing in defeat. I'm a firm believer that perspective affects performance. You know, how we view what we do will always affect how we do what we do. And my big two are perspective and gratitude. If I can wrap the right perspective around a situation, nine out of 10 times I can handle it in the right manner, but not only handle it in the right manner, I can figure out a way to use it to add value to every environment that I go into and every person's life that I come in contact with. The reason you don't have peace is your mind is stayed on the problem. Your mind is stayed on what's not working out. If you wake up in the morning, you start having negative thoughts. Man, this ain't my day. I woke up on the wrong side of bed. I'm tripping, I just don't feel myself. Every time you feel, in the middle of the day, if you feel yourself doing that, stop, just stop for a second. And start going over in your mind everything you have to be grateful for. Not everything you want, everything you already have. Because what you have is substantial. You just haven't gone over the list and taken inventory in a long time. But the fact that you can walk, that's a blessing. The fact that you woke up, that's another blessing. The fact that you can see, think, reason, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go somewhere and get yourself something to eat, that's another blessing. The fact that you can go and turn the key and call some place home, that's another blessing. Too much energy to the negative circumstances, the negative events that happen in our lives, the feelings of negativity. We give too much energy to that. Think on things that are positive, things that are wholesome, things that are of a good report. You can't think negative and have a positive life. You can't think sickness and get well. You can't think lack and have abundance. The battle is taking place in our mind. Be selective of what you allow in. You know, being positive is so important. You know, being optimistic is so important. Speaking life is so important because it affects the way that you handle things. And it affects the way you deal with people. It affects the way you go about your life. Do not complain about something that you're not willing to change. Start coding your mind with gratitude. It'll change everything for you. 